What's up, YouTube? We're back at the garage shop again today. We're actually gonna work on Sonic a little bit. Uh, he's kind of be right here. We're gonna kind of work on him right here because we have Serana back in this bay to work on her and try to get her ready for the summer to drive it and enjoy it. And we got the 84 in the other room. That, well, the red 84, they're both 84s. So we got the red car I have not named yet over here. Uh, still working on it and uh, trying to get ready to get that 5.3 in it. But I kind of want this Ranger for this weekend. And I got a few things I got to button up. Uh, I got new Rough Country N3 shocks for it. I have a two inch lift. It's one of them two inch lifts. And I still have to uh, slot the holes and bring the front diff forward to be able to put a roll pin in the new Super ATV prop shaft because they said it fit this model. It did not, it was too long. So I gotta move the front diff a little forward, which is not gonna be the end of the world because the A-arms are two inch offset forward A-arms. So they should, that should actually help re bring the uh, drive shafts forward a little bit. And uh, that actually, which you guys would think that, yes, that will make the shorter, but with the two inch lift, it will make the machine taller, which will have them stretch out more. So bringing that forward will actually help compensate some of the axle shaft length for the lift. So the bumpers just set on here with the two top bolts. So I'm gonna pull that off and we're gonna probably work on getting the slot, the holes drilled and slotted for the front diff first. Then we'll worry about the shocks and the lift. So, all right, I think I'll put you guys on a tripod for this and just shoot a bunch of time-lapse stuff because I've got a lot to do and I'd like to get a lot of it done today. I got a tip-out windshield for this, a uh, glass one. I'm gonna put it in. I'd like to get the steel top off the parts one over there and put on this one. Don't pay attention to that 900 there. That's, uh, so we'll get onto that later in another video. But yeah, I'd like to also get the glass window out of that and put in this and maybe, maybe some tunes. I don't know. I have uh, some parts over here for it, uh, for some tunage. I actually have a set of factory speakers that go down below I could probably put in if I wanted to. Uh, but I have a, the Sony uh, radio here that I'm probably going to put in it somewhere. I don't know where yet, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Eventually, it's going to get a ride command like the Ace, but uh, yeah, I don't uh, see that happen for a little bit. But uh, I've got a timing chain, mechanical timing chain tension I'm going to swap in there. Uh, it needs transmission, uh, front diff changed, and uh, engine oil changed. It basically needs a full service. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done too. Check the antifreeze, yada yada, all that stuff. So we'll go ahead and get on to that. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it needs an air filter or not. If it does, I have one. So I'll throw the air filter in it if it needs it. But uh, yeah, Anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and head, uh, continue on forward with this. I'll put you guys on a tripod. We'll get this front end uh, figured out. So catch you guys in one second. <laughs>
is got the lift on it new shocks everything got messed with the camber a little bit it's still a little this way but it's good enough for now i'll let the springs wear in and everything and then we'll worry about uh, adjusting the camera again later when everything gets wore in got the windshield in glass windshield i still got to modify the dash to be able for the latch to work got the uh, steel top on and i'm kind of happy about that Got the glass back window in. Uh, also put my new tail light in and fix the brake or the tail lights. So I have tail lights again because it didn't have tail lights before. Uh, this isn't the box. It's going to stay on it. I'm going to use the box off the green one is my, uh, and it's because it's a better box. But uh, I'm going to use this one for right now. It's fine. I went ahead and I put uh, the sway bar back on. I used energy suspension, uh, bushings, and... Uh, yeah through the ends and the uh rod those ends are bent uh the rods are bent i need to check one of these other machines to see if they got it straight well the parts will see and see if they're straight and i'll swap them out because them are like 78 bucks a piece or something they're ridiculously expensive and i'm i'm not gonna spend that but these are the parts i used i used the 9.5158r 7 8 uh greasable bushing and then i use the uh 9.8105 r energy suspension uh those are the link ends so that's what i use they work pretty good so i'm not going to complain the camber's not bad either so yeah and uh, yeah they don't look uh too bad on there and they're greasable and they're heavier than the factory ones and they're also slotted and they're down about three quarters to an inch down lower which is good because this machine's lifted so it kept more of the stock uh, angle of the sway bar it's still tilted down a fair amount but not as bad as if it was using the stock mounts so yeah anyways i gotta tuck up that wire real quick but uh this is what it looks like, so I'm going to put a little, couple miles on it, see how it uh, acts, see how it drives, and everything. We'll see. It's uh, not too bad. I went ahead and I changed the front diff and the transmission oil. I haven't changed the engine oil yet. I did put a mechanical tensioner in it. Oh yeah, I forgot this bed's tweaked just enough. You've got to be on the driver's side to open it. I don't have a strut either. I need to check my air filter real quick too. But uh, yeah, I put that mechanical tensioner in there. Quieter down on startup. So I did that same thing with uh, that one over there. We'll, like I said, we'll get onto that machine in another video. I uh, tailgate that was on that uh, came off of this. So I robbed it and put it back on this for this weekend. I'm gonna build me a tube and mesh tailgate for uh, this one because my plan is to put mounts in this bed well the other box for a tahoe third or not tahoe a suburban third row and it'll be a latch in here and you can have three people ride in the back and i'm also going to build me a fr uh, cage for a frame around here and it's going to have a removable headache rack that'll be on when their third row is not in then it'll be then it'll be a headache well it won't be really a headache rack but it'll be a roll bar that uh, goes back here and possibly have a roof uh, rack on it as well. I don't know. Can't make it too much taller or it won't fit in these in this building. So, you know, this thing's pretty this thing's pretty tall. It's got like uh, 19 inches of ground clearance. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty tall. I, I do like being able to change oil without having to jack it up. And I can slide all the way underneath it and uh, clear it clear underneath it no problem it's definitely definitely tall so anyways guys we'll catch you guys in the next one i don't know if it'll be on this the white trans am or the red trans am but if you guys are following along on them thank you for that but uh we'll see you guys in the next one i hope you guys have a good rest of your day